Hey everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome back to Scoso's Adventures in Star Wars Galaxies. So as you know, Scoso is our Transdotion Force wielder, and we've been playing through Watto's quest lines, trying to find bits and pieces of the droid. Now, we went over to Mas, uh, Mas Entha, and we did a couple of races, and we found uh, some pieces there. We were then sent to the Squill Cave, where we found this piece over here, the Droid Diagnostic Controller. But also in the Squirrel Cave is this guy right here. And he's going to be who we're talking to right now. This is the Hermit. Well met, Traveler. What brings you to my small and lonely abode? I was curious to see who lived here. Merely an old man, I keep to myself and tend to my books. I think I philosophize. Here in this cave, I am able to watch after myself. These cold, lifeless walls do not disturb me any longer. Far too long have I lived in here in solitude. I've become stoic to its effects. What you philosophize about, old man? Mind your manners, child. I philosophize of the state of our worlds, of these dark times. Dark times? What do you know of dark times? Pirates and criminals travel freely. The Old Republic have sh has been shattered. The Jedi have been hunted to all but extinction. Over all of this hangs the shadow of the Empire. So the question is, uh, do we go light or... You know what? We'll kind of... We're going gray. <laughs> Screw it, we're gray. It is my belief that the galaxy is in uh, is in dire need of heroes. Those individuals who have demonstrated beyond doubt their dedication to the path of light. You are brash and young, but perhaps one day you will become a hero and bring this light to this darkened place. I wish to become a hero. A noble intent, but intentions is the face uh, intentions in the face of a challenge are as dust upon a Tatooine windstorm. One must act, and through one's actions, one might be proven a hero. How do I prove that I'm a hero? Travel the world, perform acts that demonstrate your heroism. Through these actions, you will be transformed. A hero must be honorable, intelligent, courageous, and altruistic. You must seek to help the world despite the cost. I will do these things. Return to me when you have proven the measure of your character, the act of honor, an act of intellect, an act of courage, an act of altruism. Demonstrate to me these characteristics, and I will bestow upon you the mark of the hero. What is the mark of the hero? I wasn't always an old man. Many years ago, I won many a campaign against the forces of darkness. I wore the symbol about my neck as a reminder of my cause. I would pass this uh, uh, this thing to the one I believe capable of continuing my work. We are going to seek to prove my character. Good. First, a small test for you to prove yourself worthy of my challenge. Worthy of becoming a hero. Within the depths of this cave, there lies an item which has been stolen from my home by the vile creatures that live here. I need it to continue my studies. It is a skull of a squill. Find it, return to me, and I will present to you the ways in which you can become the hero of Tatooine. I will do this for you. Go then. One cannot become a hero by spending all day chatting with a crazed old man. And may the force be with you. So yes, this is the Hero of Tatooine quest. It is the first purple quest we have. This beginning part of it is not difficult um we already found the skull of the squirrel but it is level 40 because of the things that come after and there are quite a few things that come after there we go gotta fight our way back up Delayed lightning strike. <laughs> G 
Get zapped. Oh. Macro root. Macro root. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. My hope is that I can get some uh, fine cuts of meat. They are quest items. That's why we're going for meat right now. Um, you get fine meat and fine hides. Uh, first, we're going to be going for the, the meat. And I do believe anything that drops meat can drop the fine meat. It just takes a while. This way. There we go. We might be able to get past a couple of these guys in this room. We're going to be coming right back down this path, so uh, if we can avoid some of these fights, it's not too bad of a thing. So we are actually getting back up near the top here. Now if you remember, when we first came in last episode, oh, beast type, uh, we went down one path and I showed where that skull is. That's where we're headed back right now because we uh, need to pick up that skull. I was wondering last time whether or not I could pick it up beforehand. I'm like, oh yeah, I found that skull, by the way. You know, you can do that every once in a while with stuff. But you have to have the mission first, which makes sense. Otherwise, everyone would just pick it up on the way in. So they wouldn't have to uh, go about it later on. Alright. Yep. It's just around that curve there. Come on, beat him, beat him. There we go. Get beat upon. Come on. There we go. Uh, the disease that I've gotten from these guys has sapped all my stamina, so I have no energy in which to beat people up with special abilities. Luckily, all we ha need is right here. Here we go. This is where our skull is. Like I said, the, f the first time I did this, when I came back to the game, it took me forever to find because it had been 10 years, you know? And so, uh, yeah. I explored this thing like twice over. But it's right here. Easy peasy. You don't even have to go down this other section of the squirrel cave. You know? In fact... Let's speed run back down this direction. Look, really. Force running with this frickin' stick makes you look so weird. But yeah, blew all the way down here. Being able to run fast is just so nice. Um, my officer can do it for a group of people but he it's not as long as i if i remember correctly it doesn't quite last as long so yeah we uh we were able to run up grab this stuff force run back down before any of these guys respawn um we'll probably respawn by the time we get done talking it's possible all right hermit I see that you have returned, my child. 
What do you seek? I have the skull you were looking for. Excellent. You have proven yourself worthy of my challenges. In order to deserve the mark of a hero, you must undertake four different tasks and gain the marks of courage, honor, intellect, and altruism. Which task and mark would you like to learn about? I would like to learn about mark of altruism. To attain the mark of altruism, you must selflessly help a soul in need. Somewhere in the harsh desert heat, a farmer desperately cries out in need of a hero. All right. The mark of honor. <clears throat> Somewhere on this desert planet, strife between ranchers and pirates rages on. Seek them out and choose the correct path. And the mark of honor shall be bestowed upon you. The mark of courage. You will gain the mark of courage by defeating a ferocious beast bent on terrorizing this world. Speak with the people of the cities of Tatooine. Perhaps they know of such a beast. Just hoping it's not a great dragon. Can't remember it. It's been a while. And the mark of intellect. In order to attain the mark of intellect, you must find one in need of your wisdom. Perhaps a bounty hunter needs assistance. Or a puzzle needs to be solved somewhere in the galaxy. I beseech you to keep an eye out for, uh, while traveling the cities of Tatooine. You'll find what you are looking for there. Kind of vague. Thank you for the information. Go then, seek the task which I have described for you. Return to me when you have completed them. Only then will you become the hero of Tatooine. Excellent. So this is one that will be happening over time. Eventually we'll get back to doing it, but... Uh, gonna force run up out of here as quick as we can. No need to stick around. All the squills. Look at all the squills. Excellent. Alright, here we go. And out the front. Whoop. You get to be the last guy. Don't you feel... Don't you feel important? So, we will pick that back up at some point, but right now, we're going to do squill, continue with the squill diving, grab ourselves, I'm probably too close to the cave, come on, call. There we go, that'll work. Uh, spazzy, spazzy, spazzy. We will go to Mos Espa shuttle port. Drive on in. The Ronto, towering beast of burden. And there is Watto's place. Mas Espa is kind of crazy getting around. Alright, Watto, what's up? Boom! Alright, amazing Outlander. This is quite an achievement, eh? Thanks, it wasn't easy. We are going to take, because we have the chance of another lance. Eh, we had a sword. We've had a katana. Um, we had the necklace. We're going to take the battle axe, because why the hell not? Well, it's not over yet. I found uh, the head, but you're not going to like where it is, I think. What do you mean? I sold it to Jabba the Hutt. 
great. So, uh, who do I have to talk to? I just told you, Outlander. You must talk to Jabba. Not good. It is not good for you, eh? Jabba will not be easy to get to. I don't think I didn't think he would. Well, here is where you can find him. So, it's time to go find Jabba. Oops, ran into a speeder. Show port is right here. Excellence. All right, so we're headed over to Java's. Now, Jabba is way down here. Actually, way down here. And the outpost for Jabba is way far. Way far. It's way far. So that is where we will be headed. Put away bike. Nearly 9,000 meters away. Normally, I would just drive it because I like doing that type of thing. But since you guys probably don't want to see me driving for 15 minutes, uh, just looking at stuff. But there is something about driving all the way there. Because you see Jabba's Palace just getting, it's really small and then it keeps getting bigger and bigger in the distance. There is something about it. And I would definitely say, you should do it. Whenever you start leveling... Do the drive to Jabba's from uh, Watto's, because it's 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 just this giant palace that you see for forever. I mean, it's it's a big landmark, you know. And uh, needless to say, this is the path from Wayfarer to uh, Jabba's, and you do you just kind of kind of cruise up on it. It's, it's one of those moments that kind of sticks with you in the game. I remember the first time I, I did the trip here. It was, it was just wonderful. It was wonderful. Ah, nostalgia. All right. So now begins Shabbos theme park. Because they don't just let anybody in to speak with Java. In fact, Jabba's way out over here, but we can't enter this area. We gotta talk to Riz. So that's Rilo Baruch. There's Riz. All these names, all these names, Bruce McBrain. All these names that you have seen throughout Star Wars. Riz, what's up? I think you should go be, uh, I think you should be talking to Rilo Baruch. I'm a little busy right now. Okay, so we're going to talk to Rilo. Rilo, you look like you might have some fight in you. Want to work for Jabba? Not really, no. Yeah, you look a little weak. I thought you might, uh, thought maybe you had some spark of life in you, but you know, uh, no, 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 no. Maybe I was wrong. Go on, get out here until you're ready for some work. Okay, fine. We'll work for Jabba. I'll do whatever you want. I like your style. Get out there and make us proud. How about you say what you said again? Don't come back until you've killed at least 10 of these Alcaran bandits. All right, so we're going after Alcaran bandits. You know, oh, there are just certain things, man. 
There are just certain things. Uh, and I know my, my freaking videos will get claimed by whoever owns the rights to the Star Wars music right now. Uh, but one of my favorite places in the game, in the entire game, is hanging out in Jabba's throne room. It is just so much fun. I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Uh, let's deconstruct some of these. I'm not going to worry too much about them. Uh, you know what? We're going to use this. We're going to use this. All right. Just freeing up a little space in our inventory really quick. Got a whole bunch of these. Just going to melt them down. I have a guy who's doing different things. All right. So now we have this. Because... I don't know why they never made a lightsaber battle axe. I think this is something that they should have had. Poke him in the face. So we have a hit you. We have a hit you again. We have a hit you. We have a spinning hit you. We have a sp oh. backspin hit you. Okay. A little more action with this one. Alright. Spinning hit you. Hit, punch you, punch you, poke you. Spinning Hit up, oh, backspin hit. All right, all right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. That was our special. Get electrified! Oh, in the face! Oh, <laughs> oh that poor man! That poor man! That poor man got a lightning bolt in the face. And then, because apparently I just like to spite people, he then got an axe swing straight to the dome. Let's grab another two. I just threw my axe at that man. That is something I did. I kind of want the pike that they have. Like a vibro pike. Alright. Good work. Jabba wants you to take care of some Valerian soldiers. We're skulking around the palace. So now we're going to go after some Valerians. So we're doing some dirty work for Jabba. You know, right now we're one of his hired goons, his henchmen. But that being said, we need to do it so we can go in and talk to Jabba. I do like how when you're doing the legacy quest, it leads you into and through the theme park for Java. This was one of those things that you could do way back when. Um, and they were just different theme parks. You had the Rebel theme park and the Imperial theme park. And then you had Java's and had, you have a couple of others out there. Valerian has one, I believe. Um, and they were just extra things that you could do back when most of the content was going out fighting random mobs. It was very... You went and did stuff. There weren't many guided quests. There were ones here and there, but overall most of the content in the game was stuff you made out of it, which was wonderful. That's what made the game very unique back in the day. It was super sandboxy. Alright.
I wonder if there's anything inside the Valerians. There might be. Threw, threw an axe at that man. I didn't even look at the damage values of this axe. Does it really matter? I mean, we're hitting people with an axe. And that's, that's all that matters to me, you know? Boom, we leveled too, brilliant. Get electrified. All right. Some of Valerian's people are buying up gambling debts. Take the vouchers from them so we can cash in ourselves. We're going to collect debts from the Valerian um, something or other bosses. From the Valerian bookies. So we're going to beat up some bookies. We already killed one of them. Which means we're probably going to have to kill another one at some point. Or wait for one to respawn. A damaged droid. Can't we just use this droid? Come on. You have either already collected this item or have not activated the collection yet. Alright. I definitely haven't collected it already, so there is something in the blaring bunker here. All right, good to know. Beating people up with axes. This is what I do for fun. Alright. One more. You should be enough. And return to Relu. But there's still two more guys alive. We should deal with these guys. Shoot him. Go talk to Relu. That's one of those things that I understand it's always been a Jedi ability, the Force Run. So having it in game is really nice. But whenever you are playing a different uh, profession, 
than Jedi. And you see a Jedi just blasting past you at warp speed. I know, different <laughs> different fandom. Um, excellent. We'll start collecting on those uh, immediately. Now, if you're still hungry for some work, I suggest that you would talk to my friend Reese. He might have something for you to do. All right. So now we're going to talk to Reese. But it's one of those things where you seem to just burn past you, especially when you're at the bottom of some cave or something like that. And you know it's going to take you like two or three minutes to get back up to the surface. And it's going to take them like a minute. And it's just like, oh, I wish I could run that fast. Relo says, you're all right. Some things have gone missing and I'd like you to go retrieve them. Uh, I can retrieve anything. That much. Get the gem encrusted bell and I'll call you. All right. We're going to grab a uh, ring from somebody. Somebody has a ring that Reese needs. This is about a kilometer out. The distances here aren't qu don't quite make sense, um, considering that these speeders are actually wicked fast, as we've seen in the movies. Uh, you should be covering kilometers, like kilometer a minute at least. Or, or we would say 60 miles an hour at least, you know? Probably faster for most of these vehicles. And... Uh, Let's just say, uh, I don't get from here to there in a minute. It takes a little while longer. Not too much longer. Well, maybe you are actually pretty close to it. It just, I guess, feels like you're going slower. All right. Another cave. Is there someone we can talk to for stuff? A thug. Hello, thug. Alright. Going into another cave. Caves are nice. They... Areas where we can be pushed. That way we keep all the surface area of the map open for buildings. Nice and clean. Well, that was easy. Jabba's missing a ledger containing valuable information. It was stolen f by the sand sp uh, splitters, and he demands it be returned. Find the thug that has it. It shouldn't take long. Could it be the thug outside? You know, this guy that was out here? Um, I do believe that is a drop, a random drop in there. Not a random, but it has a chance to drop. Uh, hey, you... I guess it's on the inside. Cocky. Ouch. Dude, you're dead. Alright, so it is actually at, uh, inside. They said thug, and that was that dude's name. Was thug. So I thought, hey, let's go, let's go beat up thug. Uh-oh. For some reason I wasn't auto attacking all of a sudden. Get wrecked. Kill sand splitter brutes. That's that guy we had seen before. Well, you guys might not have seen him before. That was between that was between episodes, so you might actually not have seen him. He was down there by the uh, he was down there by the uh, hero quest that we picked up earlier on. Is there anything to pick up here? It doesn't look like it yet. I do believe one of our ledgers, usually in this style of cave, there's usually one of the things you need to pick up over here. Yep, there's Jabba's missing ledger. It's one of those things where it's like you start doing these missions and you know where they stick stuff because they always stick stuff in the same place, which is kind of nice and kind of disappointing. 
But Jabba's missing ledger right there. We have to kill a couple more of these guys. Got two more guys to get. Looks like he's trying to do the same thing. So we will, uh, uh, hopefully we can find another one over here. We'll let him go that way. And we will go this direction. And eh, the knaves are that way. We need, we need one more guy down here. All right. Let him get this guy and we'll get the next one. I think he's running commando maybe because he grabbed a whole bunch of people at one, all at once there. There we go. Alright. Jabba has uh, Jabba had a prototype warhead in the garage. It's missing those sand splitters once again. I had no idea they stole so much when they left. But they've uh, now gotten Jabba's attention. He wants an end to them. Kick their asses. Will do. I do believe one of the guys that we're looking to beat up is in here. I think he's a name guy in the back there. If I remember correctly. Here's one of them. All right, that's another one of them. I believe the warhead is right here as well. The other guy, I believe, is over to the side there. Uh, warhead is right here. Prototype warhead. Return to Reese. Although, was there something to pick up over here? I can never remember. There are some weapons on the ground. All right. Return to the Reese. I'm going to quickly put on my show all objects. Corpses, corpses, prototype warheads, corpses, corpses. He might be looking for something. Apparently we're going to run out together. That's fine. That's what the game's all about. Put on the auto run and sit back and enjoy yourselves. Does he try to say anything to me? I haven't been looking at chat. I have my chat minimized so it doesn't take up all my screen. I figured I'd take a look really quick and see it if he was trying to get help or something. All right, minimize that back down. Because it definitely looks like he's trying to find something. He might be trying to find that ledger. Yeah, he's still wandering around down there. For one reason or another. You know what? Let's check one more time just to make sure he didn't say anything. Or ask, it, ask us a question. Come on. Please. Uh, sand splitters, communicator. No, I don't see anything. All right. Nothing keeping him from saying something to us, so we will continue on with continue on. There we go. I was waiting for it to give me the little diagonal arrow so I could shrink it down. Yeah. 
Yeah, the way he was shooting multiple people in a line. Commando is a lot of fun for if you are a person that loves just attacking a ton of targets all at once. Commando is one of the best ones for that because a lot of their abilities are AoE or cone abilities. So it's like you're shooting at stuff at a cone in front of you or, you know, and they're the class that has basically all of the uh, environmental, uh, elemental is the word that I was actually looking for, uh, effects. So using things like lightning or fire or toxins, acid, stuff like that, that's all up their alley. Um, the medics do a little bit of that with like toxins and debuffs and things, but uh, most of it is all over on the uh, commando side. And commando can be a ton of fun. Um, in fact, when I got back, my first guy I did was a commando, just to kind of get back into the swing of things. Um, and I would love to do a, another commando run. Uh, whether or not, because I mean, once you do one leveling playthrough, I mean, everything else is kind of the same, you know? It's just different ways to play it. Uh, leveling with a Jedi is pretty easy. Leveling with a Commando can be pretty easy, as long as you make sure you don't aggro too much. Um, leveling in, with a Medic, you don't do much damage, but you rarely ever die. Uh... When you get into things like spies and officers, um, leveling can become a little dicier because you don't have a lot of high-powered abilities early on, and you don't have much in the way of heals either, so. All right, let's talk to Rees. Put away our battle axe here. We don't need that while we talk to Rees. You did it! Excellent! The bell, the book, and the, well, I feel like I should say candle, but I'm not sure why. Maybe that could be a good name for the warhead. Uh, what else did you say? Uh, anyways, you did good work. Ifantman wants to speak to you about these Senex pirates. Here, take your rewards and go upstairs to see him. Awesome. So what we have done is we have been granted access into a part of Jabba's Palace. And we leveled up. Awesome. Now this ring here. Let's take a look. We're going to move it up here. So we already have a ring. We have a tarnished ring, which was three strength. And we have a gleaming ring, which is five strength and five agility, which is actually quite nice. And this is a stolen ring. And it gives us for constitution but you know what i like that so we're going to equip this stolen ring no i want to unequip this and to equip this so yeah so we're trading three strengths so we'll do slightly less damage but we will have more health so i like it all right Leather trim shirt of quickness. Look at that. We got purple sleeves coming out of our tunic there. I don't know about you. But I think we look pretty fly. Green, purple, and white. <laughs> the, the best com color combinations ever. Ever. Ortug. How you doing, Ortug? It's been a while. Bomar monks cruising around. And up here, random guy in the corner, Bronal. You there, I must demand your assistance with the mission. Must... I don't think I've done this mission. Because I know that there are side missions here. We might pick up some of these side missions. Because we didn't speak to... Uh, Bruce McBain, either. All right. What we're going to do next time is we're going to pick up our mission from a Fatman, 
And we're going to pick up these two little side missions as well, because why the hell not? And yes, that's a Funtmon. And he is wondrous in all things. Don't believe me? You're a crazy person. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button. And to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.